there was a great man of God, a prophet, by the name of our beloved and noble evangelist, Pastor Wilde Strada Almeida, our beloved and noble pastor, and be assisted by our beloved assistant pastor, Lina C. Almeida, a prayerful man and anointed preacher of righteousness, was sent by God to the mountain of Talibo Hulosa, Pray for the release of the 21 sympathetic hostages to the prayer and fast. He went there with the 12 prayer warriors also to preach the gospel of salvation. And the peace mission was indeed the victorious one. For all the 21 sympathetic hostages was all released. And the power of God was sent throughout the world. They witnessed that our God is a God of peace. A kind of power, a kind of miracle, and nothing is impossible with our God. For He is good, and His mercy endures forever. Praise God. The Holy Bible will tell us who is this God. In Genesis, Jesus is the Ram at Abraham's altar. In Exodus, he is the past over land. In Leviticus, he is the high priest. In Numbers, he is the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is the city of our refuge. In Joshua, he is the scarlet thread of Graham's window. In Judges, he is our judge. In Ruth, he is our king's and redeemer. In first and second Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. And in Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Esther, he is our faithless pride. And in that night, he's the rebuilder of everything that is broken. And in Esther, he's the Mordecai sitting faithful at the gate. In Charles, he's our redeemer who ever lived. In Psalms, he's my shepherd and I shall not walk. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. In the Song of Solomon, he is the beautiful bridegroom. In his sight, he is the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. In Jeremiah and Lamentation, it is Jesus. Who is the weeping prophet? In Ezekiel, he is the wonder for peace man. And in Daniel, he is the poor man in the midst of the fear and purpose. In Hosea, he is my love that is forever faithful. In Job, he baptizes us with his Holy Spirit. In Amos, he is our burden bearer. In Obadiah, our Savior. And in Jonah, he is the great former missionary that takes the word of God into all of the world. You go on and you see. In Micah, he is the messenger with beautiful faith. In Nahum, he is the avenger. In Habakkuk, he is the watchman that has ever prayed for revival. In Zephaniah, he is the Lord mighty to save. In Haggai, he is the restorer of our lost heritage. In Zechariah, he is the Lord of shopping king over all the earth. He is the one Lord and his name Lord. And in Malachi, he is the Lord of hosts and the source of the abundant blessing. In Matthew, the word that 
Christ, the Son of the Living God. In Mark, He's the miracle worker. In Luke, He's the Son of Man. And in Jonah, He's the word by which everyone. There is no other given among men whereby must be saved but by name of Jesus. In Romans, He is our justifier. In First Corinthians, our resurrection. In Second Corinthians, our sin bearer. In Galatians, He redeems us from the law. In Ephesians, he is our unsearchable riches. In Philippians, he supplies our every need. And in Colossians, he is the fullness of the Godhead power. In First and the Second Thessalonians, he was he is our soul in common. And in First and Second Timothy. He is the mediator between God and man. And in Titus, He is our blessed hope. In Philemon, He is the brother that's closer than the brother. And in Hebrews, He is the blood of everlasting covenant. In James, He is the Lord that heals the sick. And in First and Second Peter, He is the chief shepherd. And in 